If you look at processing power, the Honor View 20 has it all in terms of specifications and today we're putting it up against Apple's iPhone XS Max to see how it fares in a real world speed test. We'll test unlock speeds using the fingerprint scanner on the View 20 and Face ID on the iPhone where the View 20 is faster but comparing Face ID to Honor's Face Unlock, both speeds are near identical. Now, we'll ensure that both phones are running on the same Wi-Fi network and that they're on their latest software at the time of filming. With that in check, I'll go ahead and change the cameras on both phones to front facing and also have a video loaded on Adobe Premiere Clip ready to be rendered through the first round of the test. Let's go into the stopwatch and start the test. The first few applications open up neck and neck on both phones, but as we start getting into the Google applications, the iPhone is slower to load for some reason, especially by loading GNTech's mobile webpage on Chrome as well as YouTube. This was a repetitive thing and it allowed the Honor View 20 to take the initial lead of almost two applications. And having loaded the first few games, the Honor View 20 was the first to start rendering the video clip we loaded earlier. But because of the greater optimization on the iPhone, it was able to load the games a bit faster and catch up to render the clip on Premiere Clip where its true raw processing power can be seen. In spite of starting behind, the iPhone is actually the first to complete the render and move to the games. At this stage, the View 20 is still rendering the video whereas the iPhone completes the first round in 1 minute and 53 seconds. As it starts with its second round, the View 20 is still on Premiere Clip whereas the iPhone is racing forward. The 4GB of RAM on the iPhone is more than enough to keep all applications in memory and before the View 20 can complete the first round of the test, the iPhone is done with the entire speed test in 2 minutes and 23 seconds. There's not much left to see here but the View 20 is able to finish the first round of the test in 2 minutes and 35 seconds and in the second round it is worth noting that it managed to keep all applications in memory. I think the only reason it slowed down was because of that render. So skipping forward at 3 minutes and 6 seconds the View 20 completes its test a full 37 seconds behind the iPhone XS Max which makes the iPhone the winner of this one. Let us know what you think down in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.